It looks like things are really heating up for Diddy, and the feds aren't stopping at just raiding his homes. According to TMZ, subpoenas are being sent left and right to everyone who does business with Diddy including his private jet company. So it seems like investigators not only want to know what Combs' travel routes were, but they want to know who was flying with Combs, who flew with Combs at his expense, very similar to the way that investigators were looking into who flew on Jeffrey Epstein's private jet. When federal agents from Homeland Security were tearing through Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami on Monday, March 25th, Diddy was nowhere to be found. Instead, Justin and Christian were left to deal with the whole shebang in L.A. That could be his sons. That could be his sons. Again, if, if that is accurate, I wouldn't be surprised because the allegations put forward in that lawsuit implicated his sons in uh, different criminal activities. Now here's the kicker. While Diddy's sons were getting handcuffed, rumors started circulating that the big man himself was on the run. That's when social media started digging into the mystery of where Diddy could have jetted off to. And one user on X managed to track down Diddy's plane near the Caribbean island of Barbuda. However, the plane suddenly made a sharp turn and did a complete 180 loop back toward Antigua. The X user clarified it was difficult to figure out his exact landing spot due to the aircraft's erratic descent and added, I thought he was landing at Barbuda, but turned and did a 180 loop to Antigua at about 2,200 feet. Also, the aircraft turned off its radar signature within seconds of touchdown. So at first, some speculated that Diddy was on the plane and trying to make a run for it. However, during the raids, Diddy was spotted on video, obtained by TMZ, pacing around at the Miami Opa-Laka airport. Eyewitnesses told TMZ that Diddy and some other people got stopped by the feds. It was then that the feds arrested Diddy's alleged drug mule Brendan Paul, who was booked on two separate charges after the feds intercepted Diddy and his entourage at the Opa-Laka airport. And then, less than 24 hours later, NBC Miami confirmed that Diddy's private jet returned from the Caribbean to South Florida. Now it's still not clear whether Diddy was trying to leave the country when the feds entered intercepted him in Miami. However, as of now, Diddy is still in the U.S., and he's been spotted several times over the past couple of weeks out and about in Miami, with his friend Stevie J. They even stopped to pose for selfies with fans, and Diddy was heard telling them to pray for him. But despite Diddy seemingly putting on a brave face, his legal troubles have only just started. An officer with the Department of Homeland Security, who recently spoke to the Post, said, We are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we're following up on. On top of that, Homeland Security has now expanded its probe and they're reportedly looking into flight records linked to Diddy. According to TMZ, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York has sent subpoenas to multiple companies that provide services to Diddy, including his private jet company. Sources told TMZ that subpoenas are also going out to commercial airlines, and there's even talk about reaching out to the FAA just to cover all bases. It remains to be seen what those flight logs will show. However, fans on social media are speculating that Diddy sent his private jet to the Caribbean to dispose of potential evidence. You know they took the evidence and dumped it in the ocean. He was tipped off. His jet blends in with the dark. Very creepy. All I know is he had plenty of time to get rid of every incriminating video or evidence.